How's it going guys? This is Drew and I'm gonna be showing y'all how I made my graffiti style Winnie the Pooh canvas. First you're just gonna want to get a thick base. Uh, <clears throat> I chose yellow and purple for my two colors. And you're just gonna want to go back and forth at a even distance so that you don't get any varying paint fades and stuff like that and just make sure it's all filled in so now we're going to use our second color which is purple to give it kind of a faded foggy look and you're just gonna, gonna want to keep the can at an angle and at a distance to get kind of that faded look. Just, yeah, really far away sprays to get all that fogginess. And I went ahead and painted the corners purple just to get kind of an even flow. But yeah, so you're just gonna wanna wrap, keep on rapidly clicking the can at a distance and add an angle to get a good faded look. And just keep on going until you get a good mixture of the two colors you have. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And now I'm gonna be using a high pressure can to do a big R for a roux. Uh, you just wanna make sure you keep varying distances and don't stay in one spot too long with high pressure because uh, paint will just start flying all over the place. And then my phone flipped over so wasn't able to film me doing the whole R but it's all about just keeping a going really fast and keeping a good flow. You want the paint to fade out like it does over there in the corners. You just need to lift the can higher off the canvas and then bring it back down when you want it to be thicker. And then I drew my little outline of Rue from Winnie the Pooh, who is my character for this canvas. Now I'm going to be doing the outline for Rue with the black paint marker and I'm going to use his big nose as a good reference point you just really want to make sure you stick to your outline that you have on the canvas so just Obviously, don't go outside the lines. And of course, you always want to make sure you have a reference, obviously. Um, just, it's pretty easy to find pictures of characters like this online. And now just using acrylic paint to fill in the bulk of his face. And 
And now just filling in his little blue shirt. Using the paintbrush as kind of a wedge when you get over to the edges and stuff. Just using the, the flat tip to get any curves or creases at the end, at the edges. And now we're gonna keep using the marker to fill in the rest of his outline. I needed to put it on my knee so that I could draw on it more easily. So, can't really see it that well from this angle. But just filling in the rest of his outline and the little bits of his nose that need touch up. And then you'll want to use your reference to do the interior parts like the eye and stuff like that. And that's basically what it looks like now. Just got to fill in the, the ear and some of the little areas that still need paint. I realize that I may have put a little too much purple uh, at the bottom so I kind of wanted to make it lighter by just adding some more yellow from the beginning so I'm gonna be taping up most of little Rue here and just gonna want to make a bunch of pieces so you can precisely get little angles and curves like that. There's gonna be pieces that are look kind of weird and angular, so you can tear those off if you're able to, or you can just kind of fold them over and or tuck them under anyway just to get them out of the way so the paint won't affect them and I'm just gonna leave the ear mostly open since it still needs to be painted anyway Tuck that little bit under. And another. Alrighty. Well, I'm gonna start spraying the yellow. Um, I realized after filming that you can't really see me as I'm spraying the canvas, but I'm basically just spraying rapidly at a distance and at an angle so that it'll get kind of a faded look like we were doing at the beginning. Just make sure you're moving it rapidly and keeping it at a good distance. And now Rue has a little sunrise. And I went ahead and sprayed the bottom there purple again just so all the borders are the same color. And now we're just gonna be filling in Bruise a little pinkier. Using the same 
flat brush techniques from the beginning. And I realized that the main color of Rue's body was a little dark, so went ahead and added some white to the, just mixed in some white to the color I had before, and now we got a nice little light brown. And that's looking nice and filled in. Now I'm just going to need to redo the outline and all those little spots. And that is what it ended up looking like. So it's basically complete. Uh, I just wanted to add some splatter effects on top. And you can do that basically by, if you want white, which is what I'm doing, basically just spray it directly into your hand. Um, it would be a lot easier if you had a glove, I recommend, because it's you don't have to clean your hands and it's also just easier to get the get the paint out there. But unfortunately I I didn't couldn't find a glove. But yeah, so just keep flicking it out there to get a nice effect. And there is the final canvas, Lil Rue looking up at the stars. Be sure to check out the Black Diamond Authority shop for art merchandise and the Black Diamond Authority YouTube page for more art tutorials. Thanks for watching guys.